Greetings. In the last episode, I was talking about devil possessing the children. We read in Mark 7, 25, how a mother of a possessed child begged Jesus to deliver her. Now, you may wonder, how come the devil has a spiritually a legal right to possess a child? A child by itself did not do any sin, has not committed any wrong. How come the devil has an entry inside the child? How come the devil has an entry over the child? How come the devil has a control over the child? Now, the, to answer this, we must understand that if a father and mother, the father and mother of a child has committed mistake, then the devil reserves a spiritually a legal right to possess the child, to control the child, to live in the child. A marriage that does not honor God, what we call holy matrimony, many times becomes unholy matrimony. A child born out of a unholy matrimony attracts demons, devils in him or her. In other words, the devil will have power over this child born out of this unholy matrimony. Marriages that are made based on dowry system. A man marries a woman because of dowry and beauty and money and power and position. This is an unholy marriage. So, children born out of such marriages, devil has a legal right to possess, to afflict, to take hold of the child. Parents who watch pornography and engaged in sexual intercourse and children born out of that such incidents, those children are potent in attracting evil. In other words, such children can be affected by the devil, can be possessed by the devil. Living, live in relationship, father and mother, do not marry, but live in, have a live in relationship. They indulge in sexual activity before marriage and then get married. And they have children. Such children are the targets of devil. If such people get married, if they don't repent, wash themselves with the precious blood of Christ, they sincerely, if they don't repent, and they just for the sake of some ritual, they do some confession and get married and their lifestyle does not change, then such children are vulnerable to the attack of the devil. During pregnancy, if a mother goes through intense turmoil, mother is hurt, the father ill-treats the mother, the mother carries a lot of hurt, and thus that child is vulnerable to the attack of the devil. Again, a child, when he is born, when he or she is born, if the child is hurt in some way, the child is wounded in some way, father and mother does not love the child properly, then such children are vulnerable for the attack of the devil. Children who are not reared by their parents, children who are not disciplined by the parents according to the word of God, such children are vulnerable to the attack of the devil. A culture that does not uphold the values of Christ Jesus, a culture that does not support, uphold, live the values of Christ Jesus and children born in that culture are vulnerable to the attack of the devil. Unforgiven sins of the parents. If parents' sins are not forgiven, they have not repented truly and such parents have children, those children are vulnerable to the attack of the devil. Children engaged in unholy friendships they are vulnerable to the attack of the devil. Children who have no interest in 
the ways of god they are vulnerable to the attack of the devil so these are a few points that i present before you as to inform you how the devil gain access over innocent children mostly the de devil gains access over innocent children because of the practices of father and mother because of the lifestyles of father and mother and that is the reason the devil possesses devil has deserves or earns a legal right spiritually to possess a innocent child and make that life miserable as i told you in the previous video even if a child is possessed there are many instances you will never find out the child is possessed maybe later stage by the behavior of the child by the fruits that the child produce you and i will know whether the child is affected by the devil possessed by the devil or not the good news is that if once if we find out if the father and mother comes to know that the child is attacked child is possessed the child need deliverance then the way is jesus jesus in mark 7:25 see when that mother begged to jesus pleaded with jesus to deliver the child the lord delivered the child jesus is the only and one source under heaven and earth under heaven and above earth who has the authority to deliver to cast out demons so even if your children are attacked possessed in some way even if your children are living an unholy life possessed the source jesus the love of jesus is always available for that first the father and mother has to repent truly change their ways come to jesus live a segregated life live a holy life have regular prayer cut off all unholy alliances then by seeing the example then by seeing the lifestyle the children will gain an understanding the children will be challenged and apart from that the bible gives authority for the parents to discipline the children in such a way that when we bring the children when we grow the children in holy ways holy ways then then deliverance occurs when children are grown up we discipline the children and we put them on the track according to the word of god then if the child is possessed devil will have no place automatically deliverance will happen automatically you know devil will go away because the power of god will come and live in the child jesus will befriend the child jesus's presence will come in and around the child and when there is as the child grows and when the child when it becomes a teenager it repents and you know takes a baptism in spirit and truth then the child will be free from the possession of the devil child will be free from the influences of the devil as as the child leads a holy life day and night then that child will be a child who is free from the attack of the devil who lives for god will be a good example to the community and will grow the church i'll meet you in another video children bye bye